Hello all of you. So today we will be discussing mathematical typing in MS Word and some must knows regarding it. So as you all know, since the pandemic, the institutes, both uh, UK Institute and the Indian Institute, they have converted all their examinations into the online mode, whereby you have to type your answers on MS Word instead of writing it on paper. So one very important thing is while typing on MS Word for papers like CB1, CB2, etc. It is not as difficult because here the only criteria is a fast typing speed and knowing your syllabus. However, in the other papers and in some very small places in CB1, CB2 as well, you will be required to solve full fledged sums on MS Word. So now the main thing is how do we do that? Of course, it is a very new thing for some of us, for some of us who have already appeared for multiple papers in this mode already, we do have a hang of it. So it's very important that you all stop hesitating and start practicing on MS Word so that you all can actually take advantage fully of having an online home based examination. All right. So to start, we have two options of typing or solving sums on MS Word. The first option is keyboard notations and the second option is the equation editor. The details of these are discussed in the full mathematical typing classes which are available in different videos. However, just as an overview, keyboard notations is when you will not be using any signs or symbols as such. Instead, you just use your standard keyboard for writing your different uh, equations, solving different sums. For example, if we want to write x square, what do we do? We write x, the caret sign and square. If we want to write x i, what do we do? We write x underscore i. All right. This is how we use keyboard notations. The Institute has published a full document or a handbook on these keyboard notations, which are the standard ones, which you might want to follow. In some cases, we have also recommended a few different options that can be used while writing your exams to make it easier and better. The other option is the equation editor, which is a feature on MS Word, which we can arrive at by pressing alt equal to by pressing alt equal to we enter the equation editor mode whereby typing mathematically becomes a lot easier and the main thing is that when you will be typing instead of seeing this you will see it as this that is the best part of equation editor because here our minds can process it e more easily compared to keyboard notations because that is how we have always solved sums, right? That is the plus point of equation editor. Now, what's the minus point? Minus point, biggest minus point is that the equation editor sometimes tends to hang your laptop or lag it. So not every student, not every device is the most comfortable with equation editor. And the other thing is that both institutes have always shown a favor towards equation editor that uh, sorry towards keyboard notations than the equation editor they in fact have also started publishing the examiner's reports in the keyboard notations form so it is very important that even if the students who are making use of the equation editor they should be well versed with the keyboard notations as well so that they don't have trouble in understanding it because sometimes the institute they also give the questions in the keyboard notations in that case if the student isn't very comfortable with the uh, notations then they might face a problem during the examination again in our actual exams we tend to uh, face a lot of greek symbols and some different signs while solving the sums so what do we do Again, for this, they have provided alternative solutions, alternative ways of presentation that are discussed in the classes. The different ways of, for example, for inserting the Greek letters, you can either use the equation editor whereby you will directly using the shortcut uh, get the different symbols or you can use the insert tab, which is available. And after insert in under the symbol section, 
you can find the different symbols that which you might want to use in your answers <coughs> after this the most important thing in the online examinations and in ms word typing is proper referencing and explanations what is referencing and explanations as you all know the institutes for the indian institute they have the proctoring mechanism so over there this is not as important as it is for the uh, uk institute why because the UK, uh, the ifoa conducts exams online without any invigilation so when they are checking your answer script they want to be ensured of complete transparency and no use of unfair means in your papers how do you tell them that you haven't done any sort of plagiarism or you haven't committed any sort of collusion by giving proper referencing and explanations referencing is very 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 important for the theoretical portions because in these portions you tend to refer to the material you tend to refer to notes which you might have made and in those cases when you're copy pasting not exactly copy pasting but when you're writing the same thing in your answer scripts you might be uh, may found guilty of plagiarism how to avoid that you give a referencing and you tell them that you have referred to this page of this material for writing this answer if you give this then they will know that yes she has done it he or she has done it and they have written it as well if you don't mention it they might think that you have just copied it from the internet or maybe you have just copied it from someone else's answer script and plagiarism is when you are using someone else's work so when you're not giving a proper acknowledgement that this is from someone else's work then that is definitely plagiarism okay explanations again if whatever calculations you are doing every step that you write every step that you solve any conclusions which you arrive at any reasons why you are arrive at those conclusions must be adequately mentioned must be properly explained for example if you are writing that covariance of x and y is 0 you must mention <coughs> why is it 0 you have to mention why is it 0 so that the uh, examiner knows that you are actually understanding and doing whatever you have done even for the values from the table book every time you take out a value from the table book make sure you are giving the page number from where you have taken that value every single time without fail okay the next important thing is no copying and pasting from external sources by external sources over here mainly i mean the internet you cannot take out any answers from the internet in fact during the 3 hours or 3 and a half hours whatever your exam is you are absolutely abandoned from using the internet in any form however they have made a clarification that external sources for calculation can be used for example you can make use of excel for solving any tabular form of sums or some sums that might involve some great number of calculations in those cases you can use excel however you have to be very very safe while doing this because you are copy pasting the entire table and the formulas which you have entered in your excel cells they are not visible when you copy paste it into word so every single calculation must be explained so if you are calculating let's say x by y in the third column then you must write under the table that the third column is calculated by dividing the first two columns and then give an example as to any one value which you have arrived at in the table all right so after you explain whatever you have done the examiner too will be assured that you have done it yourself you know how you have done it and it is not just a copy paste randomly from anywhere all right so this is one of the most important things in the online examinations time yourself to ensure paper completion now if you do the simple maths you have approx 180 minutes for 100 marks so you get round about let's say a little more than a minute a little more than a minute you get for every single mark right now for every single mark that time which you are getting 
you cannot invest all that time into just typing that time includes your thinking your thinking of how you will proceed with the sum how you will frame your answer everything is done in that same time limit so i would suggest that for beginners assigning just for example if you are just copy pasting or just seeing and typing from somewhere you should take half the time half or a little more than half the time for just typing it the rest of the time is for thinking and analyzing everything all right so every answer on a separate page the same way which we follow in the offline exams every answer must be be begin on a fresh page on a new page in your word file your final answer and all key points should be highlighted however by highlighted i do not mean that you will highlight it using the yellow highlighter available no absolutely no color should be present on your answer file no color should be present and also no uh, designing no change of fonts these things are strictly prohibited it has to be the entire answer script has to be in the same font and it has to be in black so how do you highlight it i always suggest that bold make whatever you want to highlight make it into bold if the even at the final answer usually we tend to underline it in our answer scripts in fact in ms word instead of underlining make the final answer in bold the shortcut for bold is control plus b for mac users it's command plus b okay so make sure you follow this from day one so that you are in practice and uh, when you are actually appearing for the exam you do not have to take extra efforts for continuously reminding yourself that you have to make the final answer in bold and highlight the key points okay another thing while approaching the answers i always suggest that you should write your answers in point form rather than in paragraphs until and unless of course it's a subjective answer of course you write it in a paragraph but if it's a comment answer then it is better to write it in line form wherein you give separate points in separate lines in that way the examiner also finds it easier to spot your points and give you the marks you deserve if uh, in a paragraph number 1 points might get lost and number 2 if you are uh, going on saying the same point in different forms then the exam just to increase the length of your answer the examiner also is not stupid and the examiner will think that you were not confident of your answer which is why you have used paragraphs to give your comments okay time of creation and last edit of word document is something which is easily checkable and the institute does check it create your word document only after downloading your question paper before downloading don't open the uh, ms word application because in that case your document creation time will show before the exam and it might ensue that you have received the question paper from some other source and you have uh, made use of an unfair mean in answering your exam similarly last edit time the upload time which you get the extra upload time is not the time which you are allowed to type that time is just for uploading so make sure that your last edit is within the paper time and not the upload time that upload time is only for uploading you cannot type during that period so they will check the time when your word document was last edited so for making sure that you do not fall for this before you submit your document before you open the site and the time is going to be complete you save your word document and you cross it why do you cross it because maybe while submitting let's say your hands went here and there and you pressed even a full stop or a space bar the last edit time changes immediately so to avoid this make sure you have closed your document and then you proceed to the website for uploading your answer script in your word document don't mention your arn but in the header and footer mention your paper name and the diet in which you are appearing so let's say cm1 
April 2022. This should be mentioned in your header and footer in every single page of your word answer file. Now coming to the most important thing of all is practice. Practicing uh, typing on MS Word is extremely important, more important than some of you might be thinking. There can be two reasons why you do not practice on MS Word. Reason number one, you are very hesitant because it is a new thing. It is something which you are not used to because you think that you will be solving your uh, answers on paper and then typing it on MS Word. But trust me, under the exam pressure that is not at all feasible, you will end up not completing the paper. So for those hesitant ones, I am telling you from personal experience that it is not that difficult. It is very doable only if you practice properly and get the hang of it, get comfortable with it. Now the other kind are the overconfident ones who are thinking that ye to ho jayega. Nahi, ye nahi hoga. Until and unless you sit with it, you take the effort of actually practicing on MS Word from before in the exam you will fumble at some point or the other you will end up fumbling and you will get lost because your mind is a human mind and it cannot process something this different in the moment itself so to train your mind to make sure it processes uh, the sums which you are solving on ms word instead of paper pen it is important that you give your brain that training from before so how do we practice my suggestion would be start practicing around three to two and a half months before your examination before that you can learn the concepts you can uh, solve on paper pen and you can get comfortable with the topics but three to two and a half months before the examination you should start practicing on ms word you should start with let's say two three questions a day any two questions you pick up different kind of questions every day you pick it up and you start typing it on ms word initially what you can do is you can just type it you can solve it on paper pen solve it using paper pen and then you can type it out and then after let's say four five days when you know how to type it after that you start solving it on ms word which means that you read the sum and without touching your pen you will start typing it on ms word and solving this way your mind which is so used to using a paper and pen to write everything it will start getting used to doing the sum on ms word instead then after some time you will increase the number of questions so initially let's say a five mark question it might take you 30 minutes it is very 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 normal to take 30 minutes for typing a five mark answer initially however with practice this 30 minutes will go down to five to seven minutes it will trust me it will and that is to cover this gap it is important that you practice very very important to practice okay now after moving on to let's say five six questions a day ten questions a day by the last month which means a month before your exams you should be able to write the entire 100 marks paper on ms word all the papers which you solve all the questions which you solve should be solved on ms word don't think that you are wasting time by solving on ms word you are not what do you have to do end of the day you have to practice sums and it doesn't matter whether you're practicing on paper pen or ms word practice is practice however if you choose paper pen over ms word you are making a loss for yourself because then your brain is not registering it how it is supposed to do it during the exam so it's all of course if you think about it it's logical it's rational to sit and uh, practice on MS Word before one month of the exam. After that, in that one month, you have to concentrate on timing your entire paper. Okay, how do you time your entire paper? You sit when you appear for the mocks, you sit for three hours and you type the entire paper. 
maybe for the first one two papers you will not be able to complete the entire paper in the three hours it is very normal however with time with practice in the end towards the later mocks you will realize that your paper is easily finished and the three hours is sufficient enough for you to give the answer script completely with a good presentation and proper answers all right so that's it for the ms word uh, must knows i hope all of you practice well and clear your exams with flying colors all the best